Melbourne's well-balanced night event program at Club and Eagle on Saturday night. I thought there were three specials. We'll strike early in the opening three events on the card. In race one, going for Always Rocking here, coming off a very solid fifth behind Focus Stride last week. Had no luck over the concluding stages, Always Rocking. Drew wide on that occasion, Robbie Morris elected to go back and Always Rocking was pegged away until the final stages and certainly had no luck whatsoever, Always Rocking. Should have finished a lot closer. And I think it'd be very competitive in a race where there's probably six or seven definite winning chances over the race two. Ash Hart, as we've heard before, now the trainer of Defiant, the Group 1 winner, had his first start for Ash. It was a very creditable fifth. I think he'll be certainly stripping fitter. Defiant, nicely drawn, and Jack Trader takes the reins for Ash. So Defiant, I think, is one of the better bets on the card in the second event. But over to race three, the Dean St. Oscars trained and driven boom, coming off a gritty and determined second here last week. Sat without cover on that particular occasion from the outside draw. This time around, he draws beautifully in gate two. I think Dean will be looking for an all-the-way win with Boom, which did win his previous two starts in fine fashion. This former Kiwi, who has been racing very well for Dean since crossing the Tasman. All well, the Brisbane Carnival gets wrapped up this Saturday night with another outstanding program featuring the Oaks, the Derby, and also the Blacks of Fake. Once again, we're going to attack the first three races as far as the specials are concerned. Certainly given Beyond Delight another chance in the opening event. Race well below expectations last week, but from the good draw in this company, I think Beyond Delight will bounce back to his very best. In the second event, I'm going here for the Michael Craven trained Better Isolate off the back row. Now, Better Isolate is coming off a very impressive win. He's a talented type, Better Isolate. Will strip fitter, I think he can overcome the back row draw in taking out this event. Well, in race three, forget Majida went around last week. She had no luck in the Group 1 Golden Girl. She got buried away three pegs, beaten for early speed. She also had a flat tyre. So just forget her effort last week. I think she will also bounce back to her brilliant best in taking out the third event. In the Oaks, I can't go past the Moray Vita. The move from the back row to the front line, I think, will make all the difference to the Nathan Purden-trained filly. Well, in the Derby, also leap to fame. I'm sticking with him. He drew nicely last week. Finished third, he wasn't disgraced, leap to fame, and I think he will certainly be very hard to beat over the longer trip and despite the back row draw. But while in the blacks are fake, despite drawing the inside of the back row, I'm not going past better. Eclipse has been very kind to us in recent months. He has that awkward draw, but Greg Sugars, he's a master arrangement. He will get the job done with a better Eclipse. Definitely Spirit of St. Louis, who has drawn nicely, looms as the main danger. And I'm certainly not going to rule out Triple Eight, the stable mate, to better Eclipse, who has got gate one, and that's certainly going to ensure he gets a kind run. And then my thoughts as far as those two meetings are concerned. Kilmore will be the host of the Saturday program in Victoria. A strong Vin and Bob Knight flavour here. Also the popular arm um, spirit, as we remember those two wonderful contributors to harness racing, the father and son combination of Bob and Vin Knight. The first of the specials, I'm going in race six, number two, interest free, beautifully drawn, coming off a very strong performance. In the popular arm, going here with Honolulu Bay for Emma Stewart, resuming from a spell from back row draw, but the trial form would suggest that Honolulu Bay is ready to run a big race and he will have to certainly be at his best because that race has attracted a very strong field. Well, in race eight, the progressive Desi G is coming off some impressive performances. The barrier draw, I think, will make all the difference with Desi G, and I think he is the one to beat in that particular event. So then my thoughts for the big meetings down the east coast of Australia this weekend. Albion Park with their huge carnival wrapping up. It's been a wonderful pro uh, carnival and plenty of success stories coming from that particular venue. Club and Angle on Saturday night and Kilmore will be the eyes of harness racing as far as Victoria is concerned on Saturday night. Until next time around, good punning.